this country is what it is because we are a nation of immigrants. We shouldn't take that for granted. As a judge, my favorite activity is presiding over naturalization ceremonies. Congratulations. I see the joy in their faces, and I think about the journeys that they have taken. My father lost his father on Kristallnacht in November of 1938. He immigrated in March of 1941 at the age of 14. My mother is from Brooklyn. Her parents came from Russia. Being in this country is something that they cherished. They wanted to be part of America, a legacy that uh, has stayed with me. When I started as a judge 20 years ago, there were very few federal immigration cases. But then after 9-11, the caseload increased by some 40%. And what I was seeing was in case after case after case, immigrants did not have lawyers, and the lawyers were substandard. And when you don't have a lawyer, your chance of being able to stay in this country, to stay with your family, go way down. I wanted to challenge the legal community to do something, to come together struck a nerve. Two major initiatives came from it. One was the New York Immigrant Family Unity Project, Legal Aid for Immigrants, and the other is the Immigrant Justice Corps, which has served 60,000 immigrants with a 93% success rate. These extraordinary models are being replicated across the country. It means that families can stay together, live the American dream, as a judge, I want to express to them that we embrace you, we cherish you. As my father would say, I wish for you all the things you wish for yourself and more.